basketball fans welcome back in this video we'll be talking about the bangui sports club i mean these guys have been sensational they have been phenomenal i've watched their games and they've just been they've just been terrific terrific and they're being coached by coach liz mills so whatever coach liz mills touches it just turns into gold and they win and they won the west division elite 16 and they beat Benghazi the Alali Benghazi which had Solo Diabate it had Atema Jok and also Marcus Christopher Crawford those three huge stars and they're able to beat them by two points so I'm mean, even looking at the key contributors of this squad that just rolled over and just steamrolled like this whole contest of the Road to Ball you could just see they just had very good team chemistry in there top performance got Fulanganga, he had 13.3 efficiency per game. You've got a Higgins teacher, 13.3 game efficiency, and Evans Ganapamo. So Evans Ganapamo, he played for the Cape Town Tigers last season, and he was he was good for that group. And he played for the Cape Town Tigers. It was his second go around with the Cape Town Tigers, but in free agency in these transactions. He went to the Bangui Sports Club to represent the Central African Republic. And though that key acquisition of him and also Coach Liz Mills being at the helm really, really has been able to set that team apart because they've been able to capture wins. They captured a win against Alali Benghazi, which was a major one, but they weren't able to like beat Espoir, the Espoir team in their first game. They lost that game, but they were able to beat Virunga, that team and also FAP they beat them by one point so FAP is a team that is actually perennial they're just seasonal and they were able to make the road to ball in season two and also not even road to ball they were able to make ball so they have been in they have been there done that SLAC SLAC is a ball team they, they made it in the second season and looking at the way Bangui Sports Club was just set up they're able to beat SLAC in there grabbing that win and FUS was a team that was really, really difficult to beat, and they were able to beat a Bangui Sports Club with only one point. But one, the game that was actually quite interesting for me was the Bangui Sports Club versus IBC team. Remember Abidjan Basketball Club starred Stefan Konete, who retired. It had Christopher Bekpa, and also don't forget Coach Liz Mills was there at the helm, and she was very good with that group, the ABC team. But you can see in free agency, she went to a, to Bangui Sports Sporting Club, and she was able to bring that philosophy of how to win the game. So, yeah, and there's that. And the Bangui Sports Club, were having Coach Liz Mills at the helm, were able to beat ABC in there, but Benghazi. Like Alali Benghazi, this is a new entrant in there. They were beaten by Bangui Sports Sporting Club, which was something that was great. It was certainly great to see. And they ran it off that win against FUS just to, you know, take away that win that they won, that that uh, FUS took from Bangui Sports Club, 93-90. So they had a very good run. They had a very good, you know, record. They started off like, with a loss, they started off the loss, but still, they able to gather back to back to back wins. They able to gather they, in the first like four games, they were three and one, and they kept on adding on. Although they lost against FUS, they never took a step back, and they only lost record two games. And through that run in Road to Bali, you could just see how difficult it was because they had to go through. You have a situation where a team has to go through every every single back-to-back -back team and and no none of them is like you know letting up and all of them are just you know fighting for that spot because in road to ball of course the only six slots so the other the it's only a 12 team you know con competition six slots have already been taken through the rankings the teams that you know perform well in the playoffs then the remaining six slots are declared vacant and the teams that in the remaining have to go to road to ball so it actually becomes becomes quite difficult to be able to do that but Evans Ganapamo has been great he averaged 17 points of 40 40 percent field goal shooting Fulanganga 13 points 51 percent field goal shooting scoring wise and even in the, in the other statistics, like on rebounds, you've got 
we've got a couple of players, I don't want to butch their names, but they have been great on that front. And I'm just waiting to see how they're going to be able to, like, you know, go to the next, go to the next level, especially when you go and face those ball teams, especially with those players that have just been changing teams. Cape Town Tigers is not gracing our events right now in 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 their road to Ball, even Ball. So I'm not sure what happened with our organization, but looking at the way teams are setting up, there are more and more there are more and more countries going in, and there are more and more um, competition and teams in there. So the road to Ball has actually quite been quite difficult. It's like a gauntlet. You only have like you know limited sports and. A team has to really, really fight to get into that to get into that position. So, full credit to Bangui Sports Club. I, I'm just excited to see Kojilis Mills, you know, uh, do her thing, because with her at the helm, I, I just, I just feel great. I mean, I, I'm just, I'm just excited to see that. And man, I don't know my VLC player. <laughs> I, I just, I just put them on playback. So, and uh, I just put those clips on playback just for you to see them and they want they went out for a bit so i mean just i'm just awesome i'm just awesome i'm just happy to see this team just you know go out there hopefully they can be able to make at the playoffs and hopefully they can be able to take down one of those big teams because you know, see last year usm were listed as one of the favorites but they were not able to stop they were not able to stop any other team from you know taking that spot uh, they had the previous season but in that season that they were listed as the favorites they didn't even make the playoffs so yeah I mean uh, full credit to Bangui Sports Club from qualifying I'll be dropping such videos like this just talking about this whole run and just talking about also like you know what's going on especially in terms in terms in terms of like ball news if anything emerges I will be there to share it and um, I'm out guys peace